Hello there, and welcome back to Mr. Tom Teaches Again. I'm Mr. Tom. Today, we're going to start taking a look at numbers and start developing our number sense. By number sense, we mean how we look at numbers and special ways of looking at and understanding numbers. So, let's get started on our first look into number sense, even and odd numbers. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Say hello to Super Math Person. Super Math Person works to solve the great math problems of the world. One day, after tackling a particularly hard addition word problem, he started thinking about numbers. Super Math Person knows that when we take a look at numbers in general, they tell us how many of something we have. For example, the number 9 can be 9 tally marks, and the number 346 can also be 346 base 10 cubes, 3 hundredths, 4 tens, and 6 ones. And he thought that we can also look at numbers and see that some of them have one quality and some numbers have another. Two qualities popped into his head even and odd. So, he pondered, what exactly does that mean? Super math person used his super math ability. He came up with this. If we take eight tally marks and start dividing them into two groups, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We still have eight tally marks, but now we have two groups. There are four in the first group and four in the second. Since there are the same number in each group, these groups are equal. Eight can be divided into two equal groups. So 8 is an even number. For numbers under 10, super math person realized that 2, 4, 6, and 8 are all even numbers. When he looked at each of these numbers, he could see that they can be divided into equal groups. Here's 2. Here's 4. Here's 6. And here's 8. But what about odd numbers? Again, super math person focused his super math ability. He took a look at the number 7. To find out if a number is even, we try to divide it into two equal groups. We can do the same thing to find out if a number is odd. So, with 7, Super math person tried to split the number into two equal groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How about that? Super math person made two equal groups, but he had one left over. Then he realized that whenever a number has that one left over, it's an odd number. With seven, we can make a group of three and a group of four, or two groups of three with one left over. This is what happens with an odd number. Super math person also saw that for numbers under 10, one, three, five, seven, and nine are odd numbers. <laughs> Super math person looked back at all the work he had done. One way we can look at numbers is to call them even or odd. An even number can be divided into two equal groups. An odd number can't be divided into two equal groups. There's always going to be one left over. Super math person has solved another math mystery. So, that's our first look at making sense of numbers. 
Super Math Pros have discovered that numbers can be odd or even. You can figure this out on your own too. Just follow the steps Super Math Person went over, and there you are. Teachers, parents, and homework helpers. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe. And please be sure to share too. As always, I appreciate you being here. Take care, and remember, it never hurts to be nice.